Brett Guzek, yep. who is yeah. a racer, a road yeah. racer. I run up yeah. in uh, Pennsylvania, I run yeah. asphalt lane models, I've yeah. been with Brad for three or four years yes. now, and uh, I just like to thank them for helping or helping us along and being in the program and all that. So thank you, thank you guys for giving me a tour and being here. I got a bunch of questions for you. How did you get involved in racing? Well, it kind of all started when I was about three years old. I just randomly watched TV and NASCAR was on. I never really had a family that was into racing or anything like that. So it really all started with just kind of watching it and all that kind of stuff. Three years old? Yeah, I would watch it on the TV and I just kind of zone into it and just get stuck there. Yeah, it gets stuck there. <laughs> okay, who are your biggest supporters? Um, it would have to be my parents. Without them, I would never have got into racing. Probably either be doing some other sport or something of that realm. Um, why did you become a Rad spokesperson? I became a Rad spokesperson because I really like what you guys are doing here with helping with drug and alcohol awareness and all that. And being a racer myself, it really helps other people understand what it's like to, or how it can affect other people's lives and just putting that out there, I can display to other people that it's a really safe choice to become drug and alcohol free. Okay, so my next question for you, Peter, that is why is living a drug free and healthy lifestyle an imperative to be successful? Well, I guess first of all, it, if you're living that kind of lifestyle or anything like that, it really helps you to be drug free or alcohol free because it open up, opens up a ton more opportunities than you would be if you weren't. If you were using or anything like that, it would hurt every kind of marketability to yourself and as far as getting a job, getting hired, or doing anything with your life as far as what you like to do, hobbies, anything like that. <laughs> you keep answering my next question. So I was going to ask you, why is it important um, for you to talk to kids about making the right choices, avoiding peer pressure, and setting and hitting their goals for themselves? I just think it's really important because I'm at that age now where it affects a lot of people as far as just that teen to adult age and it just helps create awareness to, as well as kids to aware them of all the problems with society, I guess, to be exposed to that kind of just drug, drug and alcohol lifestyle. So we appreciate all of you.